John Quincy Adams is remembered mostly for being the first son of a president to become president himself, but that one fact doesn't do him justice. It was, after all, Adams who was responsible for negotiating an end to the War of 1812. It was Adams who renegotiated a treaty with Spain in 1819, securing American control of what is now Florida. It was Adams who, as Secretary of State, crafted the Monroe Doctrine, which declared the end of European colonization in the New World, and which has shaped American foreign policy to this day. It was Adams who fought for the creation of the Smithsonian Institute. It was Adams who served in the House of Representatives after being president, the only president to do so. It was Adams who, while in the House, emerged as the nation's leading anti-slavery spokesperson. It was Adams who defended the freedom of Africans who were seeking freedom after overthrowing their capturers on the Spanish ship, the Amistad. Adams argued that case before the Supreme Court and won. John Quincy Adams was both loved and hated in his day. His time in the White House was full of struggle, and he failed to win re-election. But let's remember him not only as the first son of a president to reach the top job, but as a great American in his own right.